So my whole life is a work in progress. <laughs> this is my whip update for the month of February 2023. I didn't do one in January because of all the fiasco with my hardware issues. Even now, I am still working out some of those kinks. Um, I've done a couple of videos with another camera that I thought looked really great until I saw them <laughs> on other like um, devices, you know, my big screen TV and stuff. And the quality just wasn't where I wanted to be. So I'm trying a different camera and hopefully this video will look the way I want it to look on all the different devices. Um, this whip update <laughs> is not the one that I was hoping to put out there, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm putting out there. So what am I currently working on? Well, um, I'm always working on something, <laughs> um, but I'm not always making progress on things. Long story short, um, I had all these lofty ideas and goals and things that I wanted to hit this month. And I know the month isn't over yet, but I'm kind of done. <laughs> of course, I'm going to keep working. But what I mean is I've hit some walls that didn't allow me to hit a lot of my goals. And I'll explain that in this video. Um, so I always do um, a whip update from the public YouTube channel. And then I do some in-depth stuff that I share with my Patreon community. So I will be giving them more details, but here's the gist of it. So um, <laughs> I lost a significant number of blog subscribers this week. <laughs> um, I don't even know. So I haven't lost all of my blog subscribers, but I, I lost a lot of them. Now, hopefully some of these people will realize that they're not getting my blog updates anymore and they'll come and, you know, check me out or whatever. Um, I've listed a bunch of new ways for people to follow me. I know some people have already reached out to me and said, oh, because I was following you this way, I'm still following you. But it was basically the people who were my email subscribers um, because I refused to pay for this um, what I thought was a security bug on my um, blogging platform because I'm already paying for a different security thing. Um, at, at no point did they tell me that this security issue was going to remove my blog subscribers. I would have maybe negotiated a way to transfer those subscribers before ending my service with them. But no, they were basically just like, if you're not going to use us, we're going to take all this stuff from you. And that's what happened. I'm not going to even get into details about who did what name of, of these people. I mean, if you are a blogger, you know how it works. So basically, I spent a significant amount of time trying to <laughs> trying to recoup some of those um, losses, basically um, restructuring the format so that people have options to follow and trying to reach some of the people who I think were maybe subscribed to my blog and trying to say, hey, I'm, you may not be getting my updates anymore. And that's the hardest part because I don't have any way to contact these people before I could contact my subscribers if I wanted to, but all of that contact information is gone. And so I'm trying not to dwell on it. <laughs> I am moving forward. So that's one thing. Another thing that happened, um, I actually, on the day that I'm recording this, had blocked out some time where I was going to sit down and work on some of my, you know, original pieces that I'm working on. And I got this email from someone and they were like, I want your opinion on something. And I was like, sure, okay. <laughs> and once I read it and gave my opinion I decided to then share it just because I was so passionate about it. I am not the kind of person who um, blogs about a lot of high drama kind of stuff, but I don't shy away from it either. I mean, my blog is pretty light. I talk about books that I read and review. Sometimes I talk about my personal work. You know, there's there's not a whole lot of drama on my blog, but every now and then a, a situation will arise where I'll say something and People will either agree or disagree or be indifferent about it. But the point is, this particular person posted something on their own blog that they already knew was going to be controversial and invited me to share my opinion. And they didn't do that because they are a drama person. That's, that's not what where this person was coming from at all. Um, I have a very high opinion of this person. 
Um, she and I don't agree on this one particular issue, but despite that, I still respect her as a person. And so I just felt, like I said, compelled after, you know, reading her article and posting my comment, which I did post a couple of days late. I got the email a while back, but obviously I was dealing with the drama of my blog and I didn't read it until later. So I don't even know if my comment will make it through because some blog platforms have a cutoff. I don't know if hers does or not. So regardless, I decided I wanted to post my comments to her article on my blog. Um, and, you know, some people will see it, some people won't. But anyway, that in and of itself took a lot of my creative juices, a lot of my creative energy. And so that was about a thousand, you know, or so words uh, in response to an article that was written that was also about a thousand. So, so basically, I wrote an article <laughs> um, in response to her article um, without meaning to do so. It just happened that way. So that is why I have not written as much as I wanted to write. With that said, um, I did do some writing towards my creative projects. I have the um, anthology, novel and anthology that I'm working on. And I have a word count that I'll pop up on the screen for that, where I did have time to sit around and come up with, I think about like 800 words. I was really hoping to hit a thousand. And again, the month is still early I could, but this is just where I'm gonna stop it for the purpose of making this video editing and getting it out before the end of the month. Um, I did um, go back and look at one of my other projects, um, the fantasy, oh my goodness, I can't even remember the name of my own store stuff right now, but you'll see the name on the screen, but it's basically the um, retelling of the white stag. Anyway, um, I didn't get very far with it because I think when I started to get kind of my notes together, that's when all of the ish hit the fan, as they say. So um, those are the main two things that I actually kind of like opened up and was trying to do. Um, I was hoping to do a a new, like um, I do this thing where I do like a writing prompt and do some brainstorming and things like that. And, and I still could before the end of the month, but I don't know. Um, if that's going to happen. Um, but this is where I am for now. So this is my whip update. Um, not the progress that I was hoping for, but still in my, my whole mantra is if I do something that's better than nothing, uh, of course, I would always love to do more. And maybe one day I'll have a month where everything doesn't go wrong and I will be able to do more. We'll just have to see now, won't we? <laughs> So, all right, guys, um, that is my whip update. That's what I've been working on. Um, I really, truly am hoping to be able to have a better whip update for you in the month of March. Uh, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.